was your position on the controversy over the city hall at the time that the uh, Eaton Company was interested in the redevelopment of that area? Uh, were you in favor of defending the old city hall, or were you in favor of the Eaton plan for development of the area? I was in the favor area? of the Eaton plan, and if I'd been there, I'd have got, got the oldest and the biggest and most powerful bulldozer I could get a hold of, and I'd make the best damn speech I ever made in my life to get somebody like Eaton to redevelop that area from Dundas down to Queen and from Bay over to Young. And that we missed an opportunity there that rarely comes to a municipality. And if you don't grab these opportunities when they are offered, you're likely to find yourself saddled with some pretty old, decrepit property for a long, long time. I don't think that City Hall cooperated with Eaton's in the fashion that Drapo cooperated with the builders of the big building down there. What do you call it? The Class Bonaventure, maybe? No, Class... Bill Marie? Bill Marie. Yeah. Montreal with Drapo had the attitude that the city council should be helpful to developers, and they would close streets, move water mains, move uh, sewage mains to make these things possible. Otherwise, Villa Marie would never have been there. And that's one of the reasons why uh, our old city hall is still where it is. You don't like the old city hall? No, I, I don't. It's all out of date. And, and it's a very, you'd have to, we got estimates in the metro on changing it, the interior of that building to make it a headquarters for the police and a magistrate's courts. And at that time, which is about 10 years ago, the cost would have been between a million and a half and two million dollars. What about the value of preserving the historic monuments like the city hall? What's historical about it? It's only built in 1895. Christ, I was alive in 1895. What's historical about me? <laughs> Were you against Expo? If that was something that Montreal and the psychology of the people in Montreal wanted, then it was up to them to determine what they wanted to spend their money on. I n would never have supported a World's Fair for Trump. Why not? It would have done us a world of good. And would have cost us millions upon millions of dollars that are a damn sight better invested in sewers and water pipes and roads and streets which are of a permanent value instead of one year's bus when you, you wake up next morning with a hell of a headache and find that you haven't got the money to pay for the drunk you were on last night. Yeah, but they say that Expo put Canada on the map. It gave us an image in the world. Of well, if Expo put Canada on the map, and that's what put Canada on the map, it's too bad for Canada. Did you not visit Expo? No. Well, no, I would have, but I would have had oh, an yeah. incapacity yeah. that prevented me. But a lot of Canadians who visited, I think, felt their chests expand because it was a great achievement. Well, Christ, you could let your chest expand till it'll, till it'll make choke you. <laughs>